Sunday. It's sponsored by Boot Barn, but don't forget, there's a guy who won last year named Riley Webb. He had to survive a wild card to get back into this championship round, but he's here. He'll be attempting to defend his title. It won't be easy. John Dallas is a Rodeo Houston champ. Shane Hanks is a Rodeo Houston champ and a world champion. And uh, Marty Higgins, you never count him out. And he's second to last to go. So gentlemen, this is why we play the game. Trevor Hale, first to go. Barrington, Texas. The all-round cowboy at 21 years of age. Came out of the semifinals number two with eight days. He will set the pace. Looks like he caught a leg there on the front end of the gap. That's legal, but it's going to cost him some precious time as he will string gather in time. 12 and 4. More than likely, that's not going to be quick enough. <laughs> yeah, just to reiterate what Bob said, excuse me, I'm sorry, but uh, it looked like he might have got a barrier too. He did. He 22 and 4. Bob mentioned this in the opening, but I don't know if y'all latched on to it. There's two rodeos today. There's a long round where 10 contestants and each, 10 contestants in each of the contests go. Then the top four from those 10 come back to our shootout round. You've got to win that to win the 50. Here's a guy that's done it. Not only has he done it, but he's probably going to do it a half a dozen more times in his career. He's only 26 years old. He comes from Huntsville, Texas. Got that Mike Stroganer. He is our Texas Circuit champion, three-time minute part qualifier, John Dallas. Well, the kind of ball to the left. I'm not making excuses. So his greatest teacher, Joe Beaver, once told you and I on the stage in Las Vegas, funny things happen on the short round or as far as the short round. Pressures are a little higher, a little different. Let's go to Ty Hills. San Angelo, Texas. Former is a stone rookie of the year. He's creeping up on the million dollar mark. Cap kind of ducks and dives on the distant touch. But everything's coming together at the end of the run. Nine and seven for Harris. I think he only took one round, but I knew he got it. I just saw that too, Andy. So this is a little bit of a gamble, folks, when he ties this cap. Most of the time, the cap rollers will go around all three lanes twice and the back lanes once. He's going to go around all three once and the back lanes once. That's a lot easier for a cap to kick three when you do that. But you save nearly a half a second. So now at 9 7, we just got to wonder will that make the top four to advance through the shootout round? Well, our next contestant represents three generations of a great Cajun family. Kicha, Louisiana. This is Macon Murphy. At the age of 24, he's middle-aged in this group today. Number 10 in the PRCA standings coming in on a Sunday. Two years ago, we had him in this amazing street. His rope figure eights. In other words, when he's going to shoot and shake out his loop, all of a sudden it's something that, oh, he gets the barrier loop. And now the rope is hung up. He's trying to shake it out without it having a kick in it. And at the same time, trying to get with a striking distance of the cap. Woo, craziness. Speaking of calves, we asked the next athlete, the past early in Houston Channel, Jay Hanchy, how are the calves selected for tonight? We've been watching them all week uh, for the first five Super Series, and uh, we picked the best ones, so the crowd can get into it, and we can time fast. And that's what we want to see. Jane understands how all this works back in 2011. He became the champ of Rodeo Houston. Followed that up two years later with a world championship. He had been 21 years old in 2011. 34 years old today, thinking of the veteran knowledge he possesses. Oh my God, and how many great horses that he has owned and ridden. He's riding a colt. If you want to call him the colt, they're the horse named Ripper. We're going to have a little bit of a stop. Get a whole call. Asian time. And he was right on that barrier line, Bobby T. He was pushing it. 
That nine and two now goes to number one, and Trevor Hale's on the bubble. So, what can Mr. Teeson do? Well, let me tell you what he's done this year, okay? Just so you know. He's a 21-year-old cowboy, and uh, he's one of the young boys here. We've got a 20-year-old and another 21-year-old you'll see after him. But he went around in San Antonio, much smaller arena, with a 7-3, okay? Then, three checks in Denver, 8-1, eight, 8 flat, 8-6. Eight, so, that two is a smaller arena. And that means the start is going to be a little shorter. Here in Houston, you're going to have to let that calf out a little farther before you can begin pursuit. Because the size of our region. All right, so Bobby T, he won it last year. 
Well, he's won a million nine hundred thousand dollars, a beautiful wife, a brand new baby girl. And the other day he rode his horse down the freeway to get here because the traffic had to go uptown. That's one day. <laughs> yeah. He was 8-1 after he did that, Bobby T. Snuck off 6-10, looped down Kirby on this little sorrel steam, and then won his semifinals. Has to be quicker in 10-2 to get into himself a spot.
on easy defense. That horse is in the final four in, and Lee is in the top ten. He's got a chance to defend his title, but he's going up against world champion Clayton Bela, reigning world champion Keenan Hayes, and then longtime veteran Caleb Bennett will be last to go. All right, y'all get ready to watch 10 great horses and then 10 greater. Penneros, Minnesota, and the Cavalry Champion Horse. Look at all the lines we say it's good They put up some big numbers on that horse, Bobby T. That horse comes from the Calgary Stampede. They've been as high as 91 on that horse in Yale, Washington. This afternoon, Terry's wow. going to post the first one at 85 points for the millionaire. Turned out as he rolls the spurs up to 
Well, this guy is a businessman. He's about to be a daddy. Everything in his world, born and raised in Utah, and I live in Montana. This horse also has a glass eye. That's why he, it, it looks blue, if you will, okay? The, the, the eye itself is not actually glass. That's a true blue piece. Right. It looks like a glass eye. Okay. That's why they give you blue ones. But this horse allows you to show off your spur stroke so well, and I can promise you Caleb has seen this horse for years and knows what he's got. Well, we've already watched him ride three of the greatest horses we've had here, and consistency would be my word for what he has already accomplished just to get here on the final Sunday. All right, suck her up, put yourself down again, Ted Regan. Montana fans on TV, Jesse Bowles and Jace Steve Hook. Kansas 
Arsenal. Lightning Aguilera and Jonathan Torres come in with the largest money total. Between the two of them, they won $17,000 here in Houston. Not too bad over the last three weeks. Lightning qualified to the National Finals Rodeo back in 2022. Jonathan has been there twice. Just because you fall out before here doesn't mean anything for this afternoon. No time. Yikes. Oh, I don't want to be right, but I just said a minute ago that strange things happen in this game. Junior D's are on us out to cover. He's in the top 30 in the bar call about. You remember him from the wild card? Yes. And he got routed and he didn't, he didn't make it out of the semifinal of championship round. So he had to go through the wild card where six teams competed and only one team could advance. And Junior D's threw a loop, a country mile long, but even more impressive was Kobe Payne and his heel Now Kobe's already won Fort Worth with Clay Smith, so he's going for Houston too. All right, wild card boys. Kobe Payne at the heels of number two in the world. Little match here today, Junior. Oh no. Well, less than 24 hours ago, he was perfect with two in the loop. Penalty at five, gonna put him in at one and one. As of right now, first, second, and third all carry a penalty. All carry a penalty, but seven to go. So we've got six teams to go and four spots to fill. Clean run advances you, James Smith and Douglas Rich. They were five and three in our first semifinals. I'd love to have that time right now. Hard running steer. Jake slides a little rope to try to help out. Be careful, Bob. He's got, I, some, he's got some good ones, but there's some neat tracks, too. I've been living on his rules for the last 35 years. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Andrew Ward, Tanner Brady. Andrew in the building there. Past champion for the National Finals Rodeo. Tanner's trying to get there. We can help. Five point seven. All he had to do was break down the dam. Now the water's flowing. That is now your top team. So now we can knock the team out. Jake Bowes and Jake Stephen are gone. And there are two teams still advancing, roping one hot leg. Look out, here come the champions of the world. They won two world titles back to back in 21 and 22. This is Kevin Driggers and Junior Nogueda. Neither one of these guys have won one of in Houston. Seven would be fine. Derek McKay representing the Navajo Nation. Ten time qualifier of the NFR number five in the world. Colin Todd, I know you're packing the right loop. He's a father, he's a husband, he's a cowboy. From Wilcox, Arizona at the healing. We've asked him what his favorite things are. He'll tell you his favorite food is steak, his favorite actor is John Wayne, and his favorite book is the Bible. That's a thing. That's golden cool top. Right All right, guys. Boyd said a minute ago, seven would be fine, six would be better. Don't be trying to win so loud. He just want to get into the top four. Okay. The panic is in That's Jake Long. Clint Summers, the number one man in the world on the head side. That's the header. Now, 
These guys won four go-rounds at the National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas, totaling $182,000. So if we're asking them to be 10 and 4, it's almost an insult. And they, this is how they won it. It wasn't at the Black Jack Field. They were they were one steer night for 10 nights in a row at the National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas and an average nearly $19,000 a night per man, per man. All together as a team, they won over $370,000. Uh, boys, any way you want to look at it, you're number one, number one. Here in Houston, Ken, you know what it is, going 50000 Summers at the head end, I watched that shot they had him a minute ago. He was rolling, yeah, now watch him. You talk about solid in the mind. Rides up to it, right, and catch. Now, kill, kill. Kill, 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 Will they hold on to the final four? Or will JCA blow the Buddy Hawkins be faster than 10-5? That's what it boils down to. If this team is faster than 10-5, they are in. There's a lot of armchair team members watching us today on three different channels. Well, all I gotta do is go to wake up with a permanent challenge. I won't be in the top 40 years. Think about it. They're out to get into the number two spot behind Ward Brown. Six and two. Team Roping, I don't tell you what, folks. It is the richest event on a quarter horse today in the world. We have sanctioned Roping in 32 countries. Right here, if you look at that heel. Ah, uh, set him up. Come around the corner. Spin them for two. Oh, that's the way you smoke them. Ah, clean smoke them, and then you don't get to. Well, everybody wants to be a champion on a Sunday. I like that shirt. You don't see those since about 1970. When you roll like he does, nobody's going to question you. Andrew Ward, Tanner Braden, along with Yankwo and Hawkins, Smith and Rick, Summers and Long. Thank you to Mrs. Bairds at KHOU 11. They brought us the team rover. Oh, you're right, one of the 
both riding here in 2012. A dozen years ago, and now his son is trying to join you. Thanks. Another nice ride, folks. You gotta like that. 85 and a half, and we are setting the bar real high. Right at the very beginning, this rider. That's his brother, older brother, and he's loving it. Alright, rematches are good for you sometimes, but when you've been 88 points, like Davey and Brendan has on his horse, called Wild Cherry, bragging on the six-time world champion graded coconut with the bear flavored cherry, will bring you and this West Texas College man a, a handful. Folks, he's an Aussie. He's a resist all rookie. He just won four. Top three score, 86 points for Elsie. And bye bye, 
Nelson who's an anniversary. Well, there's where the degree of difficulty, there's it, that didn't work for me. The degree of difficulty of a horse has got it. Let's go to Roger Sanford, Andy. It's all for Louisiana. The reigning resist all rookie of the year coming off his first trip to the National Finals rodeo. Last year, he won the Washington State Fair in Piano, won the Cheyenne Frontier Days, and has got a national finals bucket horse for Eliza Jane. Eight out of the ten horses in this event were at the end of farm. They've been 86 on this horse in Fort Madison and here at Rodeo Houston. Ryder is getting aggressive, trying to beat that same mark. Now it's up to a judge's decision, Bobby T. Well, they know they're watching the reigning resist all rookie of the year. And the man who was the Cheyenne champion. Don't look at a premium for Katie. He's about five behind today. Good effort, though. So if you were with us at wild card number two, this man was able to celebrate with his friends that he won that wild card to make it to today. So yesterday's final wild card, Brody Wells was the winner of the brawl drive. Another NFR horse of the Calgary Stampede, this is Tokyo Bubbles. Wyatt Castle was 88 and a half in four words. So Brody's got to like his chances. He's got to be more than 85 and a half. So he's got to be 86 to advance, and he's got a horse that he can do that on. There's your leaderboard, lower left of the screen. It's Brennan, Newman, Elsier, and Statler, the number one man in the world on the chopping block. Very 
40 yard pass here is to the shootout round. Brandon Coleman to Newman and Mendel Stewart. Newman's got a chance to three feet. Thank you. The energy transfer for bringing us to the ball Just like our steer wrestlers, as they dig in to see who's going to win it all, they want to say thank you to Matcher Stern. If you look back 12 months ago, you would have seen Dalton Massey took the biggest check of all. And we've got some deja vu. He's back to try and double dip. Massey will have to try and beat a very loaded field. Look out for Strutzmas, past champion Elbridge. And the elder states that Blake Knowles is pretty hungry, Bobby T. Nah, he's not that old. He's only 41. First guy to go is 24, half that age. He's a Parrington, Texas, Cody Beavers. Watch, watch, watch. Get a look. Oregon. 
Dalton Massey. He's number two in the world standings after splitting the win for work back in January 1st of February. He's won over $7,000 here this year, but through his steer and semifinals won in a four and three. 6'1", 200 pounds. He was one steer winner for the world title. Jay Horace put him in position. Finish the run. said that, Bob, because I saw him earlier today, and he said the kids, me, he, and the siblings are out playing, while mom and dad are at home feeding the cows. That's the way it works, buddy. That's just how it should be. All right, he's at $980,000 for the career. Today can do it, 50 grand, and put him over the million dollar mark. Let's do it. Six and eight. Well, that'll put him on the bubble now. Goes by Eric now. Yeah, all 6'3", 225 pounds of him. So look, four six is winning it. This next cowboy, check this out. Stetson Jorgensen back in semifinal number one. Watch what this guy did. Don't think he can be the four six. This is a four flat. The Hazer bumped the steer over so he can catch him. And now the number five ranked cowboy in the world. The back of the go. Steer set up. Keep ready. Here we go. Five grand puts him in the number two spot. That bumps Knowles and Erickson out and puts Tristan Martin out notice. And it's pretty fast, Andy. Four six to a six seven. Still room, boys are still room for more. Well, the last two cowboys to go. 25 and 24 years of age. Walt Arnold came from the wild card competition where he was five and one, our second wild card. Coleman, Texas, for the Tarleton State standout, who won the college title back in 2022. He's currently number eight in the world standings, looking to get to his first national finals rodeo. Watch as he sets his bay horse. Rattle of the gate. It's smart. He wants to make sure that steer is standing facing to the north. He resets his horse. He was close to the barrier line. A long reach. Has to be quicker than six and seven. Oh. He's going to tie it. Because of money won, he wins the tiebreaker and he is now on the bubble with that six and seven. Ooh, how close to that barrier was he? Are you talking about letting one back? That's exactly what he did. And even though that steer was tough to fall for now, Arnold only has to sweat Tucker. Now Tucker was coached up by Luke Rancuna. He's a stuntman out in California, works as a stuntman in the movies. 24-year-old cowboy, his resume for twins at St. Angelo, Dodge City, and Salinas. Got to be 6'6 six, six, if he wants to advance. He's won 5,000 so far for a few years. He would not win the tiebreaker, so he's got to be 6'6. Six, six. There's the knock. It's about ability. 
Das kennt ihr Hilger! Und so ist die Kraft! Und let me tell you, he's got tough for that. Working on the marble, thought there was a chance. But the last guy beating me, the world champion Erickson, will not get a second crack. But the California Sun Man will. Dakota Eldridge, the 2016 Rodeo Houston champ, will join Stetson and the Marino champ in the final Spanky of Matches for him to bring us the spirit. Oh, check this out, folks. We're walking you back. You don't think that horse likes his neck being stretched? Check it out. Oh yeah, that's the spot. You got it, that's the spot. They're scratching them outside, but inside we're setting up for the horse race of Professional Rodeo. The WPRA Barrel Racing. Brought to you by our friends at SP Engineers and Constructors. Our defending champ did not return to the injury tour of Briggs as long as Rogan the last two years in a row, but did not defend. So we'll have a new rodeo using champ. It might be somebody who's won it before, we'll have to cast him out, we'll have to wait and see. World champion Haley Kinzel, lots of talent, but start with Megs. From the Treasure Valley of Marzine, Idaho, Megan McLeod Spray has won $6,000 as Jagger gets around barrel number one. Let's see what kind of moves Jagger yeah. has. Tips in. Come on, girl. Final one, it's all oh. spin yep. from here. Such a big and important day. As I said earlier, 
every champion of rodeo Houston from a year ago made it to the National Finals Rodeo, so you're almost by winning Houston, you're literally almost seeding yourself into the NFR in Las Vegas. Now, I, I don't want to ask you to uh, gamble with me because I'm running out of cash, but uh, what do you think it's going to take to be in the top four? Uh, in this event, yes. I, I, I think... Man, I think that 1476 is solid. I think it's in. I'm not sure about a 79 or an 81. Because there's just a lot of talent left to come. Namely, <laughs> Lockhart and Jones. Molly's had the fastest run on the road to go wild car now. But she ran a 14-4. So, let's see it with this one. Lisa Lockhart in semifinals two was 14-81. But she's got to be even better than that. If she wants to stick around, starts with a left hand and turn, and it's still up, keep going. Two right hand turns to finish it for the winningest cowgirl of all time. Over three million dollars, go, Lisa, go! 1473, and that bumps the world champ. Lockhart goes to second. Wow. 1473, now you can touch him. You just can't tip them, okay? If they knock over to five second penalty, let's go. The Paige Jones, the two-time champion Cody, went to her first finals last year. She's got to be 1479 or faster. 1479 or faster. Come on, y'all, cheer along. Well, it must be a little St. Patrick's Day miracle we need. Cassie Mowry of Dublin, Texas. Different kind of shamrock. She's been 1443 to win wild card number two. A past champion of Rodeo Houston called Cassie. She knows the format and loves it. Two turns in. The Bay Horse has got to get chase here. Come on, Cassie. Okay, Hale. Here's the good news. She ran a 1476 in semifinal one. She's got to do that or better. A 1 100th of a second better. 1475 to make it to the top four. Redfest, California on the move. On Houston, Texas side. And that five seconds will be her in. Hello, right there. All right, the good news for earlier and the boom back in. Steve took Oklahoma. Here is an NFR qualifier in less than a while ago. Bring it up. We're going to be 1459. Eight to go to the lead, 75. But, oh, to get a big hop since he wins. Look at the pass in today, round one, perfect. Pick it up, part two. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I, I love this young lady. I love her family. Grew up around her dad and her grandparents, but I, I don't think three and eight with this field will advance. Will three fly? Yes. All right, well, that's what Will Wilson. Number 12 ring breakaway rover did. In the semifinals won. She was three flat through under today. And that's going to be in no time. Remember, in the breakaway rover, the rope has to pull tight around the calves, neck, and shoulders. So, uh, tough luck for Will. The winningest cowgirl this year at Rodeo Houston is the cowgirl that's on your screen, Macy Young. Boy, talk about her in the open, Bobby T. She's won every time she's back in the box. $12,000 up to this juncture. Well, she hasn't been three yet. It's all come under that. And T.T. Patrick gets 2.7 on an all to run. Put the smile out there. Now, guys, you got something to run out of the top. 2.7 for the lady from Whitman, Arizona. So why don't we just run in the ring world champ that was 2.3 in her wild card run? Let's go. A okay. well, four-time national finalist, the reigning world champion breakaway roper, who won wild card number one with a 2.3. Shelby, Mosley, Mention, Slow Calf. Oh, so you think having a slow calf would be helpful, but it's not. Yeah, it's not because first of all she's going to get the berry because this calf broke so slow that he didn't trip the barrier and then she's like this is great. Wow. Ortales, New Mexico, the hometown for Miss Deanna Gray. Deanna was three flat in our first semifinal competition. Galbrough won the rodeo at Artesia, New Mexico. Past college national finalist. Right? For those of you that may be new to our sport, you start in the junior levels, you go to high school rodeo, then on to the college national finals held every year in Casper, Wyoming. Cowgirl's been there before. Now it calls the sandy part of the land of enchantment, peanut country. That's Portales in Mexico. You'd know something about that, being a peanut country guy from Florida. Just a little bit. Uh, anybody who don't like peanuts, I don't think they'd like me. Uh, on the other. NFR Open, hosted by the Pipes Maker Bus. There you go. He was there. Won the title. Thank you. Three, four. Hello, number two spot. Yeah. And uh, her odds are but out with the end, I just, I believe the 3-2 or the 3-1 will have a long shot making it. But I bet you've got to be three flat and under before we go today. Jordan Johalaba. He was here a year ago on this final day. She just won 25000 at the American. One of two sisters born and raised on a horse outfit in Pueblo, Colorado. Look at that Cheyenne belt buckle she wears. That's good. Well, the reason I was nervous about those times you were pulling down, here's the qualifying times for the last five ladies. Three, three, two, eight, three times. And three and one, so they can do it.
2.8 wild card number two. Yesterday afternoon, I think it was last night, huh? No, yesterday afternoon, is what she won that wild card with. No, 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 did not go around the nose when I did the cat to take a leg in it. That's how the old cat should have done. If you allow the strategy, after eight months, we only have four qualified runs, four times. You said, no, you might have to put a barrier or two, but we're going to catch more than four out of the first eight. I, I agree wholeheartedly. I mean, you got three world champions, a Bass Houston champion, and you've got five of the top 30 cowgirls in the world out of these 10. Now, here is the champion Calgary Stampede of Alba, Oklahoma, Ms. Taylor Munsell. She was 2.8 in semifinal number one. On the bubble is our defending champion. So, I've, we had the time. i tell you about the surgeries you had to have going to the
is the last time that he crawls inside that barrel and got loose. But, hang on, he's not going anywhere. Leon will always be a part of this member and our rodeo family. He'll be with us every day. Thank you, Leo. Ross 
still needs to get the whistle because in order to raise our money, he's only sitting there at 27.50. He's got to get to the whistle. They might have Sophomore year and his senior year, finished second in his junior year. 
At the 2022 NFR, he won four goal rounds. That's like hitting four home runs in a World Series or scoring four touchdowns in a Super Bowl. It is so tough to do, and when you do do it, it's just uh, sets you apart from a dominant performer. Hutchins, 24 years old, fifth year as a pro, two trips to the National Finals. I'm broken three. I do not believe we have seen the best of Tristan Hutchins yet. And once he rides his bull, he'll jerk that helmet off. He'll give you a thumbs up. So happy
to give him a chance at the 50,000. Oh, I never love him. Even though he's injured. Thumbs up. The elations are real. Here are your advancing cowboys. Creek Young, TJ Gray, Roscoe Garbo, and Tristan Hutchins based on the money.